hey, guess what? We're building another camper van. Our timing is impeccable, so naturally, we waited to start the project at the hottest time of the year. In our first van, we chose not to have AC, and on some days, especially during the height of summer, in the desert, we really wished we had. Having an AC unit is a big splurge, especially since there are limited choices in the low voltage category. Some units can cost up to $5,000, and with all the other expenses involved with building a van, we think that kind of money can be better utilized elsewhere. Luckily, there are new innovative companies that are bringing compact and efficient AC units to the market at a price point that's a little more digestible. Hi, we're Laura and Lewis, and in this video, we'll show you the process of how we installed this rooftop AC unit. We want to thank our friends at Velit for sending us their 2000R model AC unit to try out. It's a 12 volt DC 7000 BTU rooftop air conditioner that fits a standard 14 by 14 inch opening. And in the box, you'll see it comes with the AC unit, of course, steel mounting brackets, a pre-assembled wire harness that's about 15 feet long, a decorative faceplate and mounting hardware, the ceiling gasket, an installation manual, and a remote control. To start, we marked the hole from the inside of the van using the gasket as a template. When we were searching for a location, we wanted to make sure that we had plenty of room in between the cross beams. Our plan was to use a stepped drill bit to drill a hole in each corner of the outline so we could locate it on the top of the van. But after drilling the first hole, we switched to just using an automatic center punch, which works great. The major bonus of the center punch is that there are no metal shavings falling on you. Before climbing on top of the roof, we taped up a garbage bag so we can catch all the shavings and extraneous material as we cut out the hole. From the roof side, you can see the dimples that were left from the center punch, so we lined up the gasket and traced around the edges. Then, using the same stepped bit from before, we drilled out the remaining corners making sure the hole is big enough for the jigsaw blade to maneuver around. We covered the perimeter with painter's tape and then got to cutting. We tossed the cutout and used a hand file to deburr the edges. Then we spray painted the perimeter to seal up the exposed metal. Now that the messy part is done, we move the van inside the shop. Luckily we made these large work tables that are on casters, so we were able to finagle the unit onto the roof. The unit isn't terribly heavy and can be lifted by one person, but it's much more manageable with two people. With the unit on the roof, we prep the area by removing the painter's tape and wiping up the mating surface with a little bit of acetone to make sure there's no grime or grease left over. Then we laid down a thick bead of adhesive sealant. We used Sikaflex self-leveling sealant because it's what we had on hand and it worked okay for this application, but it's pretty messy. A better alternative is Sikaflex 252, which is specifically designed to be used for dynamic structures like cars and trucks. We'll leave a link down in the description. We placed the gasket on top and made sure it was positioned correctly around the hole. Then we scooted the AC unit into place, making sure to drop the wiring harness through the hole. From inside the van, we located the brass threaded inserts on the bottom of the unit and screwed in the M8 studs by hand until it bottomed out. Then we threaded the nut and snugged it up with a 13mm wrench. The mounting brackets slip over the studs and sit up against the roof panel. We hand tightened all four nuts and then torqued them down evenly, making sure not to over tighten.
Since we don't have our electrical system up and running yet, we tested the AC by hooking it straight up to our battery. You can change the settings from the control panel or with the remote. We measured the current draw while the unit was on and we tested both eco and turbo mode. The outside temperature was about 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the current measured settled around 19 amps on eco. And on turbo mode, it peaked at 34 amps. That means we could run the AC on turbo mode for almost three hours with 100 amp hours of battery, which is nuts. The Velet R2000 only took a few hours to install, and it's a great option if you're looking for a low voltage AC unit for your camper or RV. And now that we have the AC in, we can start cranking out the rest of this build. Consider liking this video, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss future videos of this van build. Thanks for watching!